action full of bite and parties full of glamour. Formula One is here again. All eyes are on Melbourne. What will it bring this 62nd season of Grand Prix racing? In Formula One, you never know what will happen. Maybe the pole sitter is going to win the race, or maybe an underdog team is going to finish on the podium. One thing's for sure, however, everything is set up. That's because the F1 logistics experts are already in mid-season. They've been working for weeks to make sure everything's in place on the big opening day. A mammoth task, and the drivers are very aware of how important it is. I feel and I can see it's quite a complicated thing to organize and you need uh, as well, even on the area, that department, experienced people which can handle things and have uh, and a long experience in Formula One. Because when you are a thousand and thousand kilometers away, like in Australia, it's not an easy thing. Up to a hundred people travel with the teams, hotels, flights and visas, plans that are being made months in advance. There's no winter break here. And then the equipment. Around 10,000 components in 120 cases have to go to each race. To ensure everything's in the right place at the right time requires exact planning. Especially when, as this year, no sooner is testing in Europe over than three overseas races come along in quick succession. We're sending different sea freight around the world at any given time. We have three replicas of the equipment that is at this point in time on a boat on the way to Australia, on the way to uh, Malaysia and on its way to China. Um, and then on top of that we take something in the region of 35 tons of, of air freight. We then start planning how many cases we're going to take about a month ago and we make our freight bookings with FOM of how much space we want on the plane, how much we're going to send and then what we want them to take on to the subsequent races. A mighty task for which Formula One gets comprehensive support from its logistics partner. Put simply, the team's highly sensitive and secret freight, hundreds of cases and containers and even their fuel need to be transported and processed through customs. Once at the circuit, every case and every screw ends up where it belongs, no matter at which Grand Prix. Any delays would be catastrophic, and for precisely that reason, Formula One needs and has a logistics team of international specialists. Without this, none of the world-class events could ever happen. And well-managed logistics makes sure that the freight arrives on time and in top-notch quality. The teams rely on this totally. After all, they need to keep their minds clear for the first step of the long path to the final race in Brazil and maybe to the World Championship title of 2011.